Hey guys, welcome to part 11, I think, of my discord.py making a discord bot in Python tutorial. I barely remember my intro. Uh, yeah, it's been a while uh, since I've made my last part of this series, and the reason why is because I was waiting on parts for a new computer. Uh, my old one's kind of sitting right behind me, and uh, my RAM didn't come in uh, at the same time as all the other parts. It actually came in two weeks later, uh, which took a long time. On top of the fact that I was also starved for ideas, I mean, you guys did leave some suggestions in the comments and messaging me them on Discord, um, but I didn't feel like they were sort of worth their own video. Uh, on top of the fact that I was sort of prepping for um, this video, which is um, sort of the first in sort of the sub-series in which we're going to be creating a music bot. Um, but I, I felt like I wanted to get everything else I could think of in before we went on to uh, Discord's uh, voice functionality. But, uh, you know, I just, I procrastinated way too much, and yeah, here we are now. But anyways, new computer's done, new s software, new, no, it's not new software, it's just, we're here. Anyways, so in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to sort of allow our bot to join and leave different voice channels um, and we're essentially going to be just creating two different commands for that uh, it's not too difficult but uh, yeah let's get right into that so starting off we're going to create our join command and as you may have guessed that's going to be the command that will allow the bot to join our voice channel that we are currently in so we're just going to say client.command we are going to pass context into this command set that to true and we just say async def join and just pass the context in there now what we're going to need to do is first we're going to access or not access but we're going to store um, our voice channel and by our I mean the person who runs the command the author of the message and we're just going to do that by simply going channel equals ctx dot message dot author dot voice dot voice underscore channel and that'll essentially give us the voice channel as you may have guessed and in the next line we are simply going to say await client dot join voice channel and we're going to pass in the channel and that's really it in terms of joining the channel uh, by the way I will just remind you guys that when I create these functions I'm not taking into account the different errors that could come up in different situations um, this command that I've created just now requires um, the user to have already been or not have already been but to uh, currently be inside of a voice channel if uh, they are not it'll cause an error and it could crash your bot or just you know hey it's not working um, but yeah, you will want to account for those things when creating your code. Maybe use try accept, maybe use um, different if statements to control different scenarios. But for the most part, I'm just giving you the core of what the uh, function will be doing. Maybe I'll get into that later on. Um, and by get into it, I mean I'll just do it in other videos that may not be so obvious. Maybe when I do like a leveling system, which I am working on. I've never made one before. So those of you who have asked, um, it's coming. I just. I had to learn it myself. Um, so yeah, um, but again, this is just the core of how the function works. Uh, you will need to modify it to suit your own needs, but for the most part, this is just pure functionality. Anyways, so actually let's test this first. Open in browser. Oh, did I change the, yeah, I did. Okay, and so we're going to join this voice channel right here, and we're gonna type dot join. And as you can see, the bot joined. In case you guys didn't notice, I made a new little bot, just called it music bot, whatever. Not too important, but I did. So the next command we're going to be creating is dot leave. As you can see, that doesn't work. Um, but yeah, let's just close this down. The bot will leave eventually, as it does when it just goes offline. Um, but yeah, let's get into dot leave now. So client command. We are going to pass context again, and we are just going to say async def leave. 
All right, so this one's a bit longer, and by a bit longer, I mean one more line. Um, all we're going to do is essentially access the voice client and disconnect that voice client. And actually, I'll get into that as we write the line, but first of all, we're going to need to get the server. So we're just going to say server is equal to ctx message server. Now, this is where we access the voice client. Voice client, and that will be equal to client.voice oops, client in and pass in the server. Now what a voice client is, is essentially an instance of the bot being in a voice channel. Just let that sink in a little bit. Essentially, it's how bots are able to play their audio in multiple Discord servers. Um, because if you think about it, let's say a bot acted like a regular user. A user can only be in one voice channel at a time because naturally we can only speak you know, and we can't talk in two places at once. It's just impossible. Um, but a bot can do that, however. It'll just play audio in whichever voice... Oh, what was that? Oh, the bot left. Okay. It'll just play audio into whichever channel um, that voice client is. And so essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be accessing the server that this command was run in. So if I were to type um, dot leave into this server here, we would access this specific server and then access the specific voice client within that server. Again, if there is no existing voice client, this line will cause an error, and that does touch again on uh, the error checks that I won't be going over, uh, or haven't been going over in my videos, but you will need to modify your code in order to account for these things. Anyways, we've accessed our voice client. Lastly, we just need to say await voice client disconnect. Pretty straightforward. And uh, essentially what this function does is it just accesses the server, gets the voice client of that specific server, and then disconnects it, which will just make it leave. So save it, run it, bot online. All right, so let's try it again. Join and leave. Perfect. Um, I will want uh, to point out that if I were to say join, and then I close the bot, now, the bot is technically offline. It won't do anything if I were to type dot .leave, right? Um, but it's still there because it doesn't go offline right away. But if I were to start up the bot again, just wait for it to go online, you'll see that the bot is still in the general voice channel, and I'm pretty sure it won't leave. However, if I were to type dot .leave still, it still won't leave. And that's just because it's sort of thinking it's the same. It's, it, it's still in the voice channel, but your new instance of the bot that you've just run here, as you can see, it's, it's giving me an error because it's saying it's not in a voice channel. Um, that voice client here was from the previous instance of the bot that you ran. With the new bot that you've run, it still thinks it's not in a channel. So you're going to have to say dot .join. You won't hear the sound because it's already in. And then dot .leave. It's a bit weird. Um, you can mess with those things. Like, you could save voice clients and things like that. I wouldn't. I mean, I don't know why you would, but I guess technically you could. But, I mean, you guys can mess around with that on your own. But that's it essentially for this video. Um, we just went over sort of joining and leaving um, voice channels. In the next video, we are going to be going over playing audio. That may or may not be a lengthier video. It does require a bit of setup. You will need to download a couple things and whatever. But uh, we'll get into that in the next video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry for taking so long to, to post it and or create it. Um, but yeah. Oh, one more thing is I am looking into creating a um, my own uh, Discord server where you guys can just join it and ask your questions there just because my Discord, my personal account is kind of getting cluttered with all the people adding me and messaging me or whatever and it kind of makes it easier on me because let's say you have a question you can post it in like a help channel and then other people who may have the solution uh, can help you out there and it doesn't necessarily have to be me bouncing ideas off of you guys 24 7 as much as I enjoy helping you guys it does kind of it takes takes up my time and uh, it would be nice to sort of start a little community uh, where you guys can help each other and if not I mean there's always the discord.py uh, official channel here so yep Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, leave a like uh, in the comments. Post any suggestions for future videos. Uh, for now, though, I think I'm going to be go finishing up the music. Actually, I'm definitely going to be finishing up the music bot series. 
and then I'll probably be going into a leveling system. I'm thinking of a, maybe an economy system and uh, a gambling sort of bot. I don't know. Uh, those aren't confirmed yet, but uh, leveling is in the works and music bot is 100% guaranteed because I've already started. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, yeah. Bye.